success, but it, it turned into something uh, entirely different. So yeah, there's no question. I mean, I think uh, I'll tell you this. As a head coach, I did not have these guys ready to play. We lacked energy from the start, and I accept responsibility for that. Um, we did not bring the type of energy that we need to pull, that we need to bring to be competitive in a situation like this against a very good football team. And uh, obviously, I didn't have these guys ready to play from the get go, and I accept 100 percent of the responsibility for that. Um, I really think there was kind of two critical moments in the game. You know, we fumbled the ball in the in the red zone uh, on an option flip. They go down and score. They kick off. Literally four plays later, they got the ball the exact same spot. And uh, I think the dam kind of broke open at that point in time and we weren't able to put the plug in. Uh, you know, credit Jay and his group. I think they're a very good football team. Uh, you know, like I said, we, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was very discouraging and that we weren't able to uh, be more competitive. What an opponent runs 43 plays and scores 42 points in the first half. What do you tell your team? What do you go to the line? Really competitive. So, we had to, there were some things schematically that, that I think that we did to help ourselves. And going into the game, probably should have had a little bit better idea in terms of, you know, I think they lined us up in our four down stuff. And when they shifted trade and did numbers to the tight end side, we got into more of our odd stuff and we were able to leverage the perimeter better in the run game. And, you know, when it's when you can't stop the run and you got to commit extra guys and they have such good tight ends in the passing game, I think that was uh, created a lot of problems for us in the first half. And I think we did a good job oh, of kind of settling down. And, Playing some ball in the second half, but uh, I also think that our lack of depth in the defensive line probably showed up for the first time today. Did you, did you sense before the game that the energy maybe wasn't there, or was that something that showed up? You know, you never know. I mean, uh, guys are hard to read sometimes before games. I thought our warm ups were probably about what they have been, but I, I, I uh, you know, just you could just tell the air kind of came out of the balloon after, that, after uh, their second touchdown. Um, we put the ball on the ground on the kickoff, and uh, that was. Uh, that was kind of one of the moments where we weren't quite maturing to, to rebound and, and put a drive together. But, you know, we did eventually after they scored the third touchdown, um, but it wasn't enough. We talked about J.J. Clark being a pretty good player, uh, and obviously he's great today. Yeah, you know, very efficient. He's got big targets in the passing game, and it wasn't like, you know, they pushed the ball. I think that was kind of our deal. They've gotten a lot of explosive plays down the field. And, um, you know, we didn't want to allow that. We want to try to make them earn it. To their credit, they were able to put together long drives and, and put the ball in the end zone. And so, you know, we, we didn't left necessarily like some of our matchups um, in the passing game in terms of the political passing game. But I think he did a good job of taking what was available within what our scheme and executing. When you fall down 21 nothing with a uh, first time starter, who is only you only got to, got to play basically one possession before that. Does the game plan change at all? Going no, not really. I mean, we kind of we, we ran what we were going to run going into this thing. If anything, you've got to kind of simplify it and shrink it a little bit more so that you can go execute and operate and try to help your defense out. What'd you think of him in his first start, Chris? I thought he played well. You know, I thought he did some good things with his feet. You know, um, probably my biggest frustration was late in the game. There we had a we had a call that. We had the exact look that we wanted that we talked about all week, and instead of going with the ball, going where we had talked about going with the ball, he tried to tried to throw the hitch, and um, that was uh, that was one of those you're like, yeah, true freshman, you know. But that, that opening uh, series there, where the second series of the game, when he spits the ball, and, and it's a low pitch to, to Gunner, and you know, true freshman, you know. But I think he has he gives us a chance, and some of the things that he does with his feet, that he threw the ball at times very well. Um, still has a tendency to sail some balls, but. Uh, connected on some, some intermediate routes that I thought were, showed a great deal of improvement. Was the plan to leave him in the whole game or did that material? It just kind of happened. You know, I mean, it was just kind of what was working. I mean, third down wise, he was able to get out with his feet and do some things to get us a chance to extend routes. We were went with a big back. Is that, did you expect that? I mean, they can throw about four guys back there that we couldn't tackle today. So. 26, you know, he had an injury coming into the game. I don't know, it was late in the game last week, and, and uh, he, he went through warm-ups and didn't play a bunch, so I don't know if that was, you know, they just figured they were going to hammer us up front, and, and they, made, they leaned on us pretty good. Um, we had to do some things to, to create some, some numbers and leverage for us in the run game to give ourselves an opportunity. It wasn't enough. Under-man team, very tough loss. What do, you, what do you say to the guys going forward? Obviously another... Yeah, well, bottom line is we're going to find out who the guys are going to fight on. And that, that's what this last four games is about, is finding out who wants to be a part of this thing moving forward. And 
and, uh, and, and moving this thing in the right direction. I know we've got some seniors that I feel extremely bad for. I think we've got some great competitors in that senior class. We don't have a lot of them, but we have some guys that do a tremendous job of providing leadership and structure and understand what it's about. Um, and some of these young guys have got to, got to fall in. And uh, we'll find out if they want to be a part of this thing.